the two beasts of Revelation. In Revelation, the Bible's final book, there are two distinct beasts mentioned. These beasts play a significant role in the prophecies of the book and hold significant symbolism. Understanding their identities is crucial for comprehending the overall message and themes of Revelation. The First Beast The first beast of Revelation is often referred to as the beast out of the sea. It is a composite creature that combines the characteristics of different animals. Some interpretations suggest that it represents the Roman Empire while others believe it symbolizes a worldly power that will arise in the future. It is indeed the state church of the Vatican City. This beast is described as having seven heads and ten horns. The seven heads symbolize the seven hills of Rome, while the ten horns represent ten future kings or leaders that will rise from Rome. The number ten also symbolizes completeness or fullness. The beast has authority over all of the Earth's inhabitants. It exercises its authority through deception and persecution, forcing people to worship it and denying them access to God. It seems that this beast's ultimate goal is to establish its authority and control over the global population. The Second Beast The second beast of Revelation is often referred to as the beast out of the earth. It is a creature that is not quite as physically imposing as the first beast. This beast is portrayed as a lamb with two horns, but it soon evolves into a powerful and dangerous creature. This beast or kingdom is the state of Israel with support from the USA and the UK being its two horns.